uh, went to Lubbock, and uh, <laughs> we went out to eat. He and Jerry Ellis and I went out to eat, and uh, the night I was going to come back, and uh, so he said, uh, uh, we were all sitting there, we were sitting there eating, and so, <laughs> but he said, how are you going to get back? I said, I don't know, I'll take a bus or walk or something. He said, we'll drive you back. I said, we ain't got anything else. He said, we'll just drive you back. I said, I want to take a trip anyway, so we'll get out of town. I said, okay. So uh, Jerry said, wait a minute, and he got, he got <laughs> He got up and went over and bought a package of no-dos. And uh, so he went over and got his no-dos, and he said, here, y'all take these. He said, we've been up quite a while now, so we'll, uh, we'll probably get sleepy. So I took a couple of these no-dos, and Buddy took a couple of no-dos, and Jerry put them back in his pocket, and Buddy said, aren't you going to take any of these no-dos? And he said, no, man, I'm going to sleep. Y'all drive. We thought it was pretty clever, you see. And <laughs> all the way back from Lubbock, Jerry slept in the back seat, and Buddy and I, Buddy and I uh, uh, talked and everything. And I, I think that's one of the greatest nights of my life because... Uh, I, he, he never sang, you know, he's, he's always sitting around tapping on stuff and everything. He was always sitting around tapping on stuff. And, and uh, he, uh, I, uh, I, I was asking him, you know, I'd, I'd say a song title, and uh, he'd get on the dash of the car and start beating out the tune, and he'd start singing it. And my favorite record by Buddy Holly, I'll play for you in a, a few minutes, called Last Night. And I think that's the best thing Buddy Holly ever made, was Last Night. And it didn't it come off the album, and you never get too many requests for it or anything. But uh, I think that's the best thing he ever made. And I bet he sang that thing 2,800 times from here to Lubbock, or from Lubbock to here. And we, he sang it and sang it, and I said, sang it again. And uh, we sitting, you know, sitting in the car and sang it. Jerry slept all the way through, of course. The very nice people have been calling in and telling us what Buddy Holly records they want to hear. This is what we call the Whaler right here. No offense to Abe, this is... Uh, uh, this is where Buddy Holly really wails. Oak and no. Rave on. <laughs> crickets right there and Big Bud Holly and Ray Vaughn. Uh, I don't know where you recognize the band in the background or not, but that's the Wichita Falls group called the Big Beats. And uh, the Big Beats played on that. That was C.W. Kendall beating the guitar out of the, uh, the piano in the background. Buddy played a mean guitar. Uh, they, uh, a lot of times on the road, you know, you see them and, and uh, all the guys would get together and they'd play guitars together, you know, and sit around. And that's where they wrote all their songs on the road. Uh, the Everly Brothers, uh, uh, We the last time we heard uh, one of their next records will be one of Buddy Holly's songs. Buddy wrote, too. He wrote uh, a thing called Words of Love, which the Diamonds made a big hit out of, I think it was about two years ago. And uh, uh, Buddy uh, wrote a lot of songs, and, uh, uh, you know, it's sort of a trade out like Paul Anka. He's recorded Paul Anka's tune this time. And uh, uh, he, he, they thought very much of each other because, you know, on the road, they depended on each other and everything. This is Jerry Allison, uh, who was Buddy's drummer and his very, very closest friend. We talked to uh, Jerry, uh, I guess it's been about uh, an hour and a half ago. Jerry? Hello, sir. How you doing? Fine. Well, listen, we heard about Buddy a while ago. We're very sorry to hear it. Yeah, I was awfully shocked, sir. Well, Joe B and I decided to live down here in the south, you know, and Buddy wouldn't live up there. And so uh, we weren't with him. At, uh, we were here in Lubbock at the time it happened. Y'all going to still play his cricket smell, though, huh? I don't know what we'll do, Snap. You don't know yet. I sure don't. Well, um, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear it, Jerry. Hey, listen, what about uh, uh, what about his wife? Have you have you talked to her? Uh, she is in New York now, Snap. She wasn't with him on the road. Yeah, but uh, I haven't talked with her, but she's coming down here to Lubbock tomorrow, I believe. She is. Have, have they set the funeral yet? Uh, no, they haven't. They haven't set it yet. Well, Jerry, I'm, I'm sorry to hear it, Snap. Well, I was thanking that, but everybody sure is sad about the whole thing. Okay, that was Jerry Allison. One of the chirpingest crickets you'll ever hear, boy. And he and Buddy were very good friends. And uh, this is one of the songs, one of the first ones they did. They got it. This is my favorite of all time, called Last Night. Last Night. Last Night. There's the crickets chirping for you right there. It's very nice to hear a, a girl by the name of Peggy Underwood is called from Bowie. And we just got a call from Abilene, Texas. And uh, uh, give us time to answer the phone. I mean, if you want to hear some of my buddies and you want to call us, well, give us time to answer the phone. We'll, 
we're going to play what you request, you know. And uh, this is the very, very, very least we can do. Uh, no one knows when the funeral is going to be yet in Lubbock. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, I think it'd be nice if, uh, if you know, people would send a card. They could send a card uh, to Lubbock. Yeah, just send it to uh, uh, send it to radio station uh, uh, KDUB in Lubbock, care of Buddy Holly. And uh, they'll, they'll see that uh, they're put in the proper place. It wouldn't wouldn't hurt anybody a bit to send a card uh, up that way, and you know let them know that people will not forget Buddy Holly because he he was the greatest guy in the world, and he furnished a lot of entertainment for a lot of people. And uh, this is this is one of Buddy's biggest records, and uh, it was a weirdo. This is the one that uh, came out right after That'll Be the Day. It was the next record, or, or it might have been the record after uh, That'll Be the Day, and uh, they flipped everybody with this one because. Uh, personally, I didn't like it, but uh, boy, it caught on like wildfire. Here's a cricket, Sherman. Oh boy. All of my love, all of my kisses, you don't. 